Hi there, my name is Bill Hannigan. I'm a tennis service representative for USTA Florida. And I'm here to talk about some stretching and some warm ups that I do prior to going out to play tennis. And this is my buddy, Paibu, and my other buddy, Piba, my two reserve service dogs. She unfortunately is retired and he is active for just hanging out because he's off right now, being that we're trapped in home and we're looking for other things to keep us occupied. And hence the idea of doing the video and talk about the stretching and warm ups that we could do. Um, besides being a tennis service representative, I'm also a wheelchair athlete. As you can see, I'm a para paraplegic, T2 as they would call me, paralyzed from the chest down. Um, and that's why it's real important for us to do some stretching prior to working out because it's very valuable for us to keep our shoulders, our sh uh, wrists and everything intact as much as possible to reduce injuries. So that's what we're gonna work on today. Okay, so we're gonna roll into starting our stretches. I always like to start, as I, to help me remember, is working from the hands, kind of working my way up to my triceps, into my shoulders, lat muscles, and then into the neck. This way I keep a nice certain order going forward. Um, if you have brakes, I suggest you put your brakes on. It keeps you from rolling. Uh, remember, we're not in a sports chair, so there is the chance of flipping over. Very rare that it would happen, but it's always something to think of, you know, because in our sports chair, we have the wheelie bar that allows, uh, that restricts us from falling over backwards. But in some simple, in everyday simple stretches like that, it's uh, not a big possibility of us falling over backwards. Just wanted to put it out there so you can think about it. Um, okay, so again, we're gonna start with our wrist. You just grab your fingers and you just pull straight back just so you feel a little tension in it. Um, and it's a 10 count. Simple as one, two, three, four. If you wanna put a Mississippi in there, alligator, you know, whatever you like to do. And, uh, you know, again, to 10, that's about 10. So then we'll switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Awesome. And then what I like to do is then push forward. Again, getting a stretch both ways forward and backwards. So that's about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Again, you're pushing a lot with the wheelchair. So it's again, it's a pounding and it's going forward and back. That's why it's real important to definitely loosen them up. So what I like to do is just a quick 10 count of this. One, two, three, four. And, and again, that's getting the blood flowing into these uh, muscles um, and areas, tendons, and then we're gonna go reverse side. You know, again, that's a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you're gonna see, I'm gonna adjust in my chair. The reason why I'm doing that is to give me a little better balance. A lot of times when I'm in my sports chair, I wear a waist strap or a chest strap, and that gives me uh, the balance that I don't have in my everyday chair. So I just slid forward so you can see that my posture is a little more comfortable that I can uh, do these stretches without falling forward. So what I'm gonna do now is arm, you're gonna grab right behind your elbow and then just pull your arm across your chest. Now you feel a nice little tension in your shoulders and that stretches it out. That's about six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good stretch. Switch sides, again, right behind your elbow. You're gonna give it a good stretch. You pull it, you can feel it. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, awesome. Next one would be a tricep stretch. And what you do is you take your hand, put it into the small of your back, come over with the other hand, grab right behind the elbow, give it a nice little stretch. You should feel that right here in your, your tricep area here. You don't wanna to pull too much, um, but just enough to give a nice stretch. That's six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Reverse sides, same thing, right behind your elbow. You can uh, feel in the small of your back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I mentioned when I adjusted for myself, because I am paralyzed from the chest down, I needed to make sure I was correctly balanced in my chair. Now that goes for the same thing. Any of these stretches that we do, and if you have limited range of motion due to your disability, which is very common in wheelchair athletes, you do to what is comfortable to you. I never want you to overstress or try to push your body to a certain uh, overextend your body in any way because of your disability. All of us have limited range of motion. So that being said, so we're gonna go into shoulders. 
Now the shoulders, you just do a little forward, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then you go reverse. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, all about getting blood flow to the muscles, you know, getting a little stretch, getting them loosened up, getting all ready to go um, and go from there. What I'm gonna do next is uh, neck stretches. So this is important because when you're out on the court and you're hitting the ball and you go back and you turn around, you're actually throwing your head around so you can try to track the ball where it's going. It's very important why we stretch the neck. So start with just the, to the left. Again, whatever your range and ability can do, eight, nine, 10, now to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then neck down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Neck up. Awesome. Ooh, that feels good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we can do just like we did with the wrist, and you can kind of just roll one little direction, clockwise. And we'll counterclockwise. Awesome, awesome. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we just kind of covered the gamut. You loosened up your wrists, triceps, shoulders. Um, and then what we're gonna finish up with is your lats. Um, so you're gonna reach up. And what I do is I like to hold with my balance on the wheelchair and just give a nice stretch. You should feel that when I say your lat muscles right in here, these muscles, and stretch. So that's about a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. Again, feeling the stretch. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. I forgot to mention torsos. So what I like to do is I grab the front of my chair here. Again, got to reposition, so I'm a little more upright. Put your chair, your hand behind your back, and just feel that nice little stretch right there. Feel it up in there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. Again, another adjustment in the chair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that was a great job. Again, this is stuff you can do in your sports chair. You can do it in your everyday chair. You can sit in front of your TV, watch TV, and, and do these same stretches. Again, it's always good um, before workout, after workout, just to keep that range of motion going on within your uh, your limbs that you, you have. Um, again, a lot of it, what I encounter is of the years of being in a chair and participating in adaptive sports, you always want to constantly be vigilant of working on these things because um, they're the most important thing and we overuse them and that's only because we that's what we have to use you know most able bodies are running around walking we need our arms and our wrists to uh, stay in the best shape they can be okay so now we did some nice stretches up there now we're going to work on some of the pushing drills that we were talking about earlier as well we're down here on the street which the pavement is definitely a little different than what you would have on a tennis court with the hard court so just want to be you know Make you familiar with that. You're gonna get a little more rattling and bumping around because of the way the street is uh, paved. Um, but again, just another opportunity to get a good workout in and get used to these drills. Now also remember, we're in an everyday chair. So the turning and all that stuff is gonna be a little bit tougher, but if you can master these drills here on the street, when you get into a sports chair and you get onto the tennis court, be that much faster and much easier to get around. The other flip, uh, the other side, what I wanted to talk about is also you don't have a wheelie bar on this. So, you know, you, this is normal pushing, but just be conscious of it that you don't want to flip over backwards. Very slim chance of that because we're just doing regular pushing drills. Just wanted to again, again reiterate that it's a possibility. So we're going to run down, do a couple of these pushes, and then uh, come back uh, and let you know what we're going to do next. So just a quick. Hey, hey. So that would be kind of like a sprint or a suicide drill, they would call them. You could do several of those really to get your heart rate going. Um, and then the other one is working on your wheelchair skills as well. So 
So as you saw, you got in and out of those. Um, broke a sweat. Definitely getting a workout in there. Great drill to work on. Again, it's just about getting your wheelchair skills down. But the one thing that I want to really implement here now is if you don't have a racket with you, find the next best thing. So with that being said, I have a spatula. I use a spatula as my tennis racket. Again, if you're on the court, pushing in the chair is great, but without the racket in your hand, getting used to pushing around, it's definitely takes a little bit uh, getting used to, definitely tech, different technique. So we're gonna go through the drill real quick with the racket. Okay, so that was it with the uh, racket in hand, a little bit slower. Again, as you can see, the hand kind of hits the tire and it's a whole different push where I have a whole grasp of this hand over here. So again, another great thing to work on as well, just pushing with the racket in your hand will enhance your game. So thank you for coming out. I'm hoping between the stretches and the warm up, it help you uh, get better to your uh, get to the balls a little faster and improve your game while you're out there. Um, thank you for coming out and uh, hopefully see you at the next video.